Hi guys, welcome to Webjada. In this one, I'm going to show you how we can use Svelte Actions. So Svelte Actions are nothing but lifecycle methods for individual elements. So in my previous videos, we have seen that how we can use lifecycle methods for uh, Svelte components. Similarly, we can use these lifecycle methods for individual HTML elements. Using actions, we can check whether the element is in the DOM or not. And also we can check whether the element has been removed from the DOM. Uh, so this can be really useful in uh, many cases, uh, particularly in inputs where you want to check the status of an input and depending on that, you want to change something. And uh, things like lazy loading images, and let's say you're loading a map based on a division in the DOM for all these things. In our case, we'll have a simple example I'm going to create a train and I'm going to move it. So we'll see how we can use actions there. Uh, for now, I'll start with a blank page. I'll have a you know, division and I'll call that train. And now I can uh, style this. So I try to make these as uh, memorable as possible so that you know it's you can you can remember it even after a while. So I'll have a, a width and height for this. Width should be something like thirty should be okay. Height and ten picks. I'll have a background of uh, red maybe. Okay, so that should be okay. Mm. I'll also have a border at the bottom mm. of 10 picks. Uh, I think bottom spelled wrong. Okay. okay, maybe I can decrease this to 8. Yeah, this should be okay. Now I will, uh, this would be our uh, nose part of uh, the train. So I'll do border uh, top right, a little curved. Uh, okay, that should be radius. Okay. Maybe width can be a little more. Yeah, this should be okay. Now uh, bottom also we can make it uh, curved bottom right radius can be something like 10 percent now this should be okay this looks like a train now this is only the nose part we want uh, the other parts also so I'll, I'll not use other elements I'll just try to use pseudo elements here uh, train I'll use before uh, if you're not sure what it is don't don't worry so then and then uh, okay i'll have to position this um, relative so that i can position other things absolute um, absolute okay so i'll have the same height width and background also maybe border Okay, so it looks like we have it and I need another one, I'll have it uh, after. Okay, so it seems to be okay, but it looks like they are overlapping. So I'll change it uh, before uh, and after. Okay, I'll change the after position. I can change its uh, right side position to 40 picks. Okay, so I may have to move, I mean, show this to picks. Yeah. Okay, 40 is fine, 45. Yeah, this looks good. And I'll have the same thing here, maybe. Um, right. 80 picks. Um, 85. 
Wow, 90. Okay, I had to do it 90. Okay, so this looks like a train, but I think I have more width than that. Uh, let's not have, I'll just have 30 for these. And then uh, 80, yeah, 80 works. So this looks like a train. Uh, so we can use the action on it, but before that I'll have uh, uh, a show, uh, let show train something uh, equals a loop false. And based on that, um, I'll show or maybe toggle the train visibility. So show train if show train. Currently it is false, so it should hide. Okay, and I'll have a button to toggle it. Um, okay, on click. Mm, I'll have it here itself. What should happen? Uh, it should uh, show train should toggle right equals. All right. Uh, I hope. Okay, sorry. Um, should have had this. Okay, so toggle train. Okay, so it's visible, and then uh, okay, so I can uh, uh, for train or button, I can have margin, um, or I'll have a division here. where uh, I'll show everything in the middle as usual uh, also okay I'll call this platform or something and uh, before train itself I'll have platform style um, display grid and place items center okay and okay so i don't need this now i think maybe um, 50 is enough 40 should be fine yeah and button button needs to be a little below so margin top is uh, 50 pixels yeah, this should be okay now I'll also have something like I mean once the train is there uh, we'll, we'll check whether uh, train is ready or not using action so we'll use action on this use uh, we can call any function here so use something like move or use train actions you can call this anything so it's basically a function so uh, const uh, train action equals so here um, we can do anything we want actually it's actions so here we can actually get that train here uh, usually we call it node I can just call it train uh, that should be okay and I can console log train itself. Uh, let me check. Okay, so when when train comes into existence, I have to check in the console here. Uh, toggle, toggle. Okay, so we got the node itself, right? So uh, using that, we can control. Like let's say. You want to load a map you will call that script here that way it loads this function will run only after uh, the train is in the dom now that is done uh, so we can console something else maybe we can console uh, train is uh, ready yeah so that should be okay train is ready so and we, we can also have a return function where um, we have a destroy method so destroy 
uh, you can uh, run something here, something like console node uh, train is uh, not ready or something of that sort. Yeah, so when the train goes out, uh, train not ready runs. So this is basically how action functions. Another thing is you can also pass some parameters. Uh, like let's say, um, let distance, I'll pass the distance equals zero. Okay. Now I can, um, or I can pass 10 and then here I can pass the same distance and here I can get it as an option. Usually call it option. I can just call that distance. I mean, it shouldn't matter. Um, now I can console log the same thing. Uh, let's see. So 10. Uh, let me call it something else because uh, distance and this distance are the same. So I'll call this position or something. And I can use the same thing here. Now if I toggle train, yeah, we are getting it. So uh, it's not dependent on this distance. Um, now another thing is we have something called update. So we can have an update method update uh, whenever this uh, option or position changes. Position is nothing but distance here. Whenever this position changes, now uh, we need a comma here between methods. So, okay. Now we can change things. So uh, console log something like train is moving maybe so when we change it when we change it to something uh, it should show train is moving but we are not changing it uh, it completely refreshes when we change it so we'll have a input here something like a range input um, equals range and uh, I can also bind its value to uh, distance here. Fine. So uh, once that is done, it's above the button uh, and I think empty. Okay, so I can have it below the button. And then I can also show uh, I'll have a division here. And I'll show uh, distance. Okay. Now it's ten, and uh, once I show the train and start, you know, uh, changing it, it says train is moving. So let's do something here. Uh, since we have the you know um, position, which is uh, okay. So position, where is it? This position. We can put it here and see the changing position as well. Toggle train, you see, uh, it's it's giving us output. So using that, we can actually move the train. So I'll remove this. Uh, maybe I can have something like uh, train dot uh, style um, dot transform. I think it's transform. Uh, we can have uh, translate. Uh, only in one direction so x and uh, position I think I need a curly brace here I'll just put it here okay position pixels uh, it doesn't work I think because of it's, it's being a string I'll have it as a template I can have dollar here so this should be okay let's see yeah the train is moving uh, it's moving only this 100 pixels so I can also multiply it or I can I can uh, change the uh, thing here max equals I can do something like 300 and that will adjust accordingly um, so toggle train so it goes till 300 and yeah that's how we can control it another thing is 
we may not want to show uh, this control when train is not even present right so what we can do is let train control uh, equals false because initially it is uh, based on that where is it input yeah and also this so if train controls and then we'll end it after this maybe I have to zoom out a little bit so that it's clear uh, where is it okay this is button this is this this is that okay all right see uh, you don't see that here so once the train is present we have to set this train controls as true so I'll do that here so we know that this function runs only when um, when the DOM is ready so train is ready so we'll run that here the train controls is being shown if you remove it it should have gone but it's not so we can use that in destroy method and make it false I mean you can do this you know directly as well like uh, like how we have done show train but this is another way of doing it so we can uh, move the train and it shows right and also we can um, like let's say uh, in in the update method if uh, position is uh, greater than uh, 50 and something like not 50 or 150 maybe right halfway and uh, position less than 200 uh, so we can do something here like console log uh, something like reached half town or some town now when the train reaches like 150 or more uh, below 200 it says it shows the message reached half town so in a way Svelte actions is pretty good to enhance uh, these individual HTML elements so yeah that's it for this one guys let me know if you have created something with actions and uh, until then, bye-bye.